some reason. Here he comes. Or here it comes. So the Moonlight Butterfly, what's tricky about it is you can't fight it up close. You need to have a ranged weapon to fight it. So Lightning Spare will do wonders here. Likewise, he will also shoot you with lasers. Beatrice, do something. Oh, good girl. Oh, that almost killed me. That's not good. Beatrice, finish it off. Okay, I'll finish it off then. Easy. The Moonlight Butterfly really isn't too difficult, but you do get its soul, so it's worth killing. When you get a boss soul, you can use it to acquire many souls or create a special unique weapon. I'm going to keep it so I can show you what the weapon is later on. But anyway, this butterfly soul is a creation of Seath the Scaleless, the dragon that betrayed his own kind at the beginning of the game. He is the one who has those necromancers going to look for maidens and he makes these butterflies. Nothing really much more to say about the butterflies than that, but we will be seeing them again in the near future. Oh, Beatrice is gone too. Bye bye. At the top of the, this tower, let's take a look. Come on. Right, at the top of this tower is this. This is a blacksmith and he looks a lot like a storer. He's a legendary blacksmith and he has in his hands the watchtower basement key. That key lets you go and fight Havel or Rock but I didn't need it because I had the master, uh, the master key. And then he also has the divine ember. Embers are very, very important for upgrading your weapons. A divine ember lets you enchant your weapon with divine powers or divine magic. Um, I'm not going to be using the divine ember, but it's worthwhile getting my audience. So, let's make our way back down to the garden and finish off this area. Okay, so we're back here in the garden now. Back to where we fought a couple of those soldiers and those three two-headed lizards. I'm going to make my way back towards the bonfire, but instead of going back down the path where the bonfire is, I'm going to have a look at this tree. Do you notice it moving? This tree is alive. And like anything alive, it can be killed. dead we can now get past it and make our way onwards down here you're gonna meet a new enemy some weird frog lizard thing not a very difficult enemy especially with the drake sword and you don't see too many of them so I wouldn't really worry about those frog things running 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 another tree to kill Now up here guarding is this soldier, 
you could run past him and ignore him if you're having any trouble with them. But I'm just going to kill him because he's not terribly hard. Unless he take out your stamina like this. Oh gosh, I'm open. Dead. Now, what I came here for was for this ring here. The wolf ring. It is an excellent ring and another, another item which I will be carrying on to using towards the end of the game. The wolf ring boosts your poise. What poise is, is how much you resist an attack when you are blocking. So you may have noticed that when I, I block something, in fact if I find an enemy, if I can jump across this without dying, I can show you. Uh, can I jump there? Is that a good place? Let me try. Yeah, I made it. So when I block an enemy's attack, it takes off my stamina. The amount of um, booze to that attack depends on your poise and their attack. So if they have a very high attack and you have very low poise, you will lose a lot of stamina and vice versa. So you want to get your poise to a good amount if you're going to be blocking a lot of attacks. Ah, uh -huh, you died. So we are now done with Dark Root Garden for the time being. So I'm going to make my way down here. Take out this enemy. And coming down this path will lead you back to the Undead Parish. It also means it leads you back to the Demon Titanite, or the Titanite Demon. He's not very strong, like I said before. Especially with Lightning Spear, he's kind of trivial to fight. Do watch out though, he can do long range attacks and he can do a jumping attack. Pikachu versus Raichu really. If you kill the enemy you get 2000 souls and you also get some demon titanite. So if you get any demon weapons you can upgrade them using that. I'm not going to be using any demon weapons at all, so it's nothing really special for me. And then we're back here at Andre. If you talk to Andre, now that you've got the Divine Ember, he says this. My, that's a rare ember you have there. I've seen one of those before. It's the ember of a divine blacksmith. Might you consider leaving that with me? Say yes. I produce divine weapons with a flame such as that. Give him the Divine Ember. Thanks for that. You've made a fine decision. You soon shall see. So now that you have given him the Divine Ember, you can now ascend your weapon to become a Divine Weapon, which is really good for fighting undead enemies like skeletons. I'm not going to be doing that, but what I am going to do is start upgrading my mace. In order to get my mace upgraded, I need to use Titanite Shards, and I'm going to need 9 of these to upgrade it to level 5. Oops, I bought too many, I only needed six. Oh well, it doesn't matter much really anyway. So, I'm gonna upgrade my mace to plus one, plus two, plus three, plus four, plus five. And voila, my mace is now upgraded. I can't upgrade it, I could upgrade it to a divine mace now if I wanted to, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna wait till later on to upgrade it further. Neither of us want to see you go hollow. My mace, now compare it to my Drake Sword. My Drake Sword does 200 base damage. Oops, let's quit this properly. Come on. Does 200 base damage. My mace now does 136 base damage plus 32. That is 168 damage. So it's catching up. As my strength gets higher and higher, I'll be it'll become stronger. And as I make it level up more, it'll become stronger. And then eventually I can stop using the Drake Sword. But I'm going to keep it for now. Anywho, now that Dark Root Garden is completed, I'm going to stop there for today, guys. So thank you very much for watching. Please leave a like and a comment if you liked it. If you didn't like it, please leave a comment anyway and tell us what we can do to improve.